episode one where like I'm hitting on a black guy. She never actually sleeps with a black guy and she sleeps around a lot. So it didn't really make sense to me. So I went up to Zane, I went up to the writer on set the day that I was supposed to do another scene that was just supposed to be like a little tiny little love scene with a guy. He didn't even have any li- he didn't even have any lines, it was just kinda like you saw us making out. So it could have been any like good looking black dude. And uh, and unfortunately they hired a black guy, which I was really excited about. But then when he got on set, they didn't like his energy because they thought that he was too gay. So they fired him that same day. And I was pissed because I was like, how are you going to tell if he's gay or not during he the... He loves gay black guys. I so. mean, whatever, you know? I mean, that would be fine for Ebony too. She'd probably go that way too. Um, so I was actually really upset about that and I ended up last minute, like it was, it was the day of that we were shooting the scene. I think they called someone at like 1 o'clock. He was there by like 5 o'clock. We were shooting at 5 o'clock and wrapped by 7. And, uh, and that was that. So they had another guy. It was a gorgeous guy, so I can't complain. But, um, but still, I really I felt like it was important to the series and important to show her with the black man. But apparently, you know, they didn't think it was as important. or I don't know. It didn't happen, unfortunately. Who is Zane? Zane is the writer. She is the erotica best-selling New York... Best- Best-selling novelist in New York that wrote the series. The series Does is based on her Does she have a last books. name or any? She's just Zane. She's just Zane. Z a n e Zane. Yeah, her her books are all over, and her fan base is all over New York. That's why the premiere was in New York, and uh, she's got a huge following. Huh. Now, what's this series about? The series is about five women and uh, their life in and out of the bedroom and empowering them and time for a sexual uh, revolution and that women should not just be the missionaries for men. Women should be on top as opposed to on bottom. And uh, it's about five women in, in their relatively in their 20s that are all just experiencing life from different angles and they maintain friendship with five women and follow their lives but they all have one's divorced and one's married and trying to work that marriage out and, and, and find, find the light and find the chemistry even though she's been married for a while. Uh, professional women, so it shows women and it, it shows black women, especially in a really nice light. Finally, a series where black women are pa- playing professionals as opposed to, you know, stereotypical roles. And uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a lot about empowerment and sexual freedom, sexual empowerment. So, do you think the missionary position subjugates women <laughs> and perpetuates patriarchy? I don't think necessarily that the missionary position. Uh, <laughs> no, to answer that question, no, I don't. Um, but that's a good analogy for the series. <laughs> now, you're, you've got a web series. Have you already shot it? Or? Yeah, I wrapped that, and it's com- coming out, what's today, the second? It's coming out in about a few days. It's coming out January 9th. And what's it about? What's it called? It's called Madison Lane. It's kind of like a cross between Devil Wears Prada meets Gossip Girl. It's also about women. Uh, no nudity in this one, but very, very sexy, beautiful women. I play with... Uh, I, I, I play alongside uh, Tara, Tara Southern, who's a great actress, and uh, it's about five women all in the fashion industry, and just all of the rivalry, all of the challenges you're, you're facing with five women working in the same company, all butting heads, um, who wants to backstab who, and I actually play like the bitch character, which is so much fun. I play Kirsten, who is um, always has been working for this company for probably the longest out of all the girls and there's a new girl hired who's played by Taryn Southern and uh, I just I just can't have it that she's she's trying to take my position and I I won't let her have it and I'm doing everything I can to try to stop her from from succeeding so um, I play an extremely bitchy part which is uh, which was a lot of fun it was really fun playing like an Ava Longoria type of role very undermining very cutting uh, so I had a lot of fun with that. How were you able to stretch to do that, or was it? <laughs> you know, it is so much fun playing a bitch, it really is. It kind of, um, any kind of like anger and frustration is just, it's, it's very, very pinpointed right there, very targeted. And uh, I think the, the, the pitfall of playing a bitch is, is playing a bitch and making it so obvious. It's way more fun to just be, you know, the bitch that is saying something so nasty and yet the whole time she's smiling. And the whole time she's saying, what a horrible looking shirt you have on. And I would never wear something like that, Luke. And yet, you know, it's these horrible words that are coming up. But she's smiling because there's people around her that might be listening or that might be looking at her. And she doesn't want people to think that she's making a mean face. So, um, so that was a lot of fun. I had a great time playing with that. Did you find yourself slipping into the character when the cameras were off? <laughs> 
No, I really, I loved all the girls on set. They were awesome, and we really bonded very, very well. And uh, we had a lot of jokes and a lot of personal moments. A lot of it was all women, so it was a lot of like woman energy again. And, uh, and I love being around women. I love being around beautiful women. I love you know working with them. And uh, it was nice. I really, I really didn't have any huge scenes with any guys. All my, all my fight scenes were with women. All my like powwow scenes, you know, meetings and, and business meetings. And it was it was very fun playing like a a, a businesswoman with with a with a mean bitchy streak. What are some of the surprising or funny things that have happened when you've played in love scenes? Surprising and funny things that have or happened. Or funny or like anything that's like unusual. Well, like, I mean, when you're, you know, there was no love scenes in Madison Lane, but right. in Zane, uh, in Zane Sex Chronicles, there was plenty of love scenes. And um, I was very excited about the love scene with my boyfriend, Frank, because I was still, I'm still very attracted to him. <laughs> I think I still have a crush on him. Um, so I was very excited about that, but there's of course this level of, oh my god, oh my god, I mean, you're, you're not completely nude, but you're basically, basically nude, standing in front of each other, and the director is telling you, you know, make this the hottest possible love scene, the, the, the audience has to believe that this is, this is the, the, the couple they're fighting for, you know, we want this to be the most beautiful love scene, the most passionate love scene, and you're, you know, you barely know this guy, and you're, st you're standing in front of him, and um, there's a lot of, a lot of energy, but a lot of chemistry. And uh, I think when there's good chemistry, what is chemistry? Chemistry is just sex. <laughs> I mean, to have good chemistry, it's that feeling of you want to have sex. I mean, that's that fabulous chemistry level. And uh, I think as long as there's good chemistry, there's going to be good scenes. So I had a great time. I mean, there was a lot of uh, nerves involved, but nerves can help you get to that next level. And as long as you get past them, it's very freedom. It's very freeing to, to, to be in a love scene. Did you guys rehearse it? Uh, not, not really. I mean, it's the kind of thing where you have a, you have an idea planned out. Uh, we talked about it a lot. It was a lot of talk prior. All right, so what do you feel comfortable with? What do you not feel comfortable with? What are the boundaries here? Um, and the whole time doing the series, it's important for everyone to know that uh, the guys had something like, I mean, this is the awkward part, is the guys had something like, like a like a what would you call it a, a block yeah like a sock around their yeah. cock a, a cock sock a sock cock I don't know um, so it looks like a sock that's like covering their balls so probably it's more nerve nerve wracking for the men who have to a number one stay hard the whole time otherwise it will look not as attractive and um, and you know when, when the women have something that looks like a pantyhose around their vagina area so we're covered in a way but yet it's even more awkward because you have this sock there and you have this pantyhose thing there um so of course there's actually no, nothing real that's actually happening it's not a porn but um but it's awkward because you're seeing this person partially nude with this sock over there and you don't really want to look at it so one of the hardest things is you know you're having a kissing scene where you're just face to face standing still beautiful lighting it's very dark so no one really sees anything but the hardest thing is not when they, when they call cut not to just kind of flare down flare down because <laughs> that's what you really want to do you just want to like peek down peek down and you're wondering like what he's peeking out and um so yeah there's a lot of uh nerves but i think that that's so normal i mean if there weren't nerves then then i'd be a professional something else <laughs> did he have a girlfriend or i mean do you guys tell each other that was just acting dear What's that? I'm wondering if, if how you explain it like back home, if you've got a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you said that was just acting, that was only oh, acting. Well, it's interesting, actually, some people, it, this is a really interesting uh, story, two women on the series, I won't say who, um, had very serious boyfriends, one was actually married, and right after the series, they got divorced, and another girl broke up with her boyfriend, Of she was living together, they were very, very close. She broke up with her boyfriend, I think, like, maybe about halfway through the series or 80% through the series. He just wasn't comfortable with what... And she, you know, she was. She had some, you know, very tasteful scenes where they were just kissing and this and that. He wasn't comfortable, and uh, I believe that was one of the main reasons they broke up. I don't know all the details, but I think that's crazy, I think, for a man to feel so inferior to that. If you're an actress, then, you know, you have to let your significant other know that there are certain, you know, make them feel comfortable, bring them on set, show them that you're not really having sex, and it's just good acting if it's good, you know? 
and uh, if they believe that you're really having sex.